Okay, so this is video number 15 uh, of the videos, a series of videos I've been making about um, my journey from the streets. Uh, and basically, uh, this is going to be a video round near the hospital uh, where I used to sleep, but also um, as I don't know if this is irony or not or whatever, but it's also the hospital I was born in. Uh, but it doesn't exist anymore, uh, or at least very little of it does. Uh, there's still a few little places of it, there's still a few, the odd building here and there, but basically the rest of it's been demolished and they've built houses on it. Um, so, in essence, it doesn't really exist as a hospital anymore uh, uh, in the way it did originally. Anyway, so I'm going to be sort of discussing about a little bit about that, but also. Uh, I'll be taking you to the place where I actually slept um, and there's a couple of videos to that so this is the first part of it but as I say this is a continuation of the two days that I spent in Manchester filming uh, the places where I used to sleep when I was homeless so as I say I'm doing this documentary documenting my journey from my life on the streets to where I am now so okay this is uh, video 15 um, so yeah, hopefully you enjoy. Bye. Okay, so here we are in sunny Manchester today. Uh, as you can see, it's not sunny. Um, right, so I've brought you to one last place before I go home today, uh, where I used to sleep. This this road here in front of you is called Lapwing Lane. You've got Burton Road there. That big pub over there, that used to be a den of iniquity years ago when I was around here. It was like the main, it was a right dive of a place. It's all up market now. It's quite a nice looking pub. It's quite posh by the what I can see outside of it. Uh, but yeah, that used to be where all the drug dealers and what's names used to hang out years ago. It was a right dive of a place. It's changed hands several times since then, but you know. And this shop here, I used to nick my Evo stick out of there. I used to buy my Evo stick out of there and nick it as well. Um, I can't believe they're still there, I don't know, after all this time. Right, so, we'll walk down this road here, um, you know, for the life of me I can't even remember what this road's called now. <laughs> what is this road? <laughs> oh great, anyway, um, this used to lead to the hospital, the psychiatric hospital, that I was a patient in for, for many years, uh, and, uh, yeah, it's gone now. They are, well, there's, there's some bits of it left, but the majority of the hospital's gone. Uh, there used to be a normal sort of uh, uh, general hospital there as well, with a psychiatric, um, with a A and E and all that, but that's all gone. Uh, but uh, anyway, I'm now taking you towards a place that I don't think we're going to be able to get to it now because. They've actually turned part of this track uh, into a uh, tramway now. It used to be an old railway which was disused, uh, had been disused for many years before I came here. Uh, and that was back in the sort of mid 80s, all the way through the 90s, uh, sort of towards uh, late 90s, I guess. Uh, and. Uh, Anyway, like I say, now, there are some bits of this hospital left, but not much of it. Like I say, a lot of it has actually been redeveloped and houses built on it. Uh, and funny enough, as it goes, because uh, this is Withington Hospital, or what's left of it, we're coming up to shortly, in a minute, uh, it's the very hospital I was born in. There should be a blue plaque on there. <laughs> this is where Paul Ashton was born. Oh dear. Anyway. Uh, now, I don't know if you can see this yet, but uh, as we're coming through past these very old trees, uh, you'll see a building over on our... Well, I don't know if you can see it quite yet. Actually, I'm going to look through the viewfinder now. and uh, Yeah, you can just about see it. It's over there. That, if it still is what I think it is, is what they call the limb centre. And the limb centre is where they make and build artificial limbs. Because my dad used to have an artificial leg 
he had just one like my father uh, and he used to come here uh, periodically to get uh, a new leg now and again or just get uh, other bits and bobs and or whatever uh, yeah look disablement services centre so presumably it's still well we used to, he used to call it the limb centre I don't know if that was its actual title or not but that's what my father used to call it anyway so okay so we'll keep on walking up here so right so as I say down here at one time there used to be a main hospital most of it like I say has been redeveloped and houses built on it uh, there's only a few little bits of it left as I say obviously the limb centre as we can see and in fact actually let me have a little walk down there a minute just out of there uh, what's there because it's been a couple of years since I was last here again and I knew they'd built then but Oh, so you, uh, there was another bit here at one point. I can't remember what it was exactly. I think there was a laundry and... Oh, there was some other bits and bobs. But that, even that's gone now. So they must be redeveloping the whole site. Presumably at some point this place is going to go. I would imagine. Because as you can see, possibly, see, uh, it's all been redeveloped. Uh, the main hospital, the main part of it, used to be on that side there, where those houses are. Uh, and a and &E was a bit further on, where the houses in the distance are. Um, used to be an old workhouse hundreds of years ago, and then it became a hospital, of course. But uh, this is where I was born. It's incredible. And it's changed so much, of course. Now, I'm not sure if you can still get through it, but I'm actually taking you away from where I was going to take you to which is the, well I can get round to it, I can walk round the other way just means walking round but that's if you can actually get through here because you know I've got a, I mean I don't know if cars can but what about people I mean there's like a little alleyway in between the houses sometimes you get those sort of things don't you but I'm not even sure now to be quite honest with you I mean uh, well sorry I'm just I'm just as uh, beguiled by this as anybody actually will probably be watching this because you won't actually really know and of course I do because I was born here but yeah where these houses are now this was the main part of the hospital uh, we'd roughly be coming up towards A&E and &E. Uh, maybe a little bit further on it's difficult to judge now uh, there's no real landmarks left that I can judge it by not exactly anyway I've got a feeling folks that this is going to be a dead end so actually I think I'll because I'm getting a bit breathy and all actually there's too many fags I've got to stop smoking I really do um, so to walk and talk is actually starting to make me feel really out of breath right now that's an original part of the hospital there that this building here no idea what it was or is even or what it did but that was originally part of the hospital uh, and in fact there's another little bit there's it's top peeking over in the distance there near the trees and I'm pretty sure that was part of it as well but again I couldn't tell you what it was what its function was right I've got a feeling like I say unless this road continues round and goes round the front which I'm not sure it might be a dead end these days uh, I think it might originally, and actually this is the original road, funny enough, at least. Yeah, the surface is virtually the same as, as it would have been. Now, hang on. Now, I've got a feeling this is probably a dead end. As I say, I don't know if these are still hospital buildings. Uh, I have no idea, actually. Uh, quite possibly. Oh, look, it says Hospital Estates Department. I don't know if you can see that on there so you can have a little look there you go see hospital estates department so now I'm assuming that it's not really used for those purposes anymore uh, I've just noticed a couple of other signs on there and things that it may have been turned into some sort of like art 
uh, workshops or something. Just seeing a sign saying signs. <laughs> Funny enough. Uh, I've got a feeling though that uh, I don't think these are used as hospital buildings anymore. I think they're something else. But I, I must admit I have no idea. Later life services. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe. Now the thing is, I'm just trying to work out whether you can get round here or not. Uh, I've got a feeling that this is probably as far as I can go. Probably. I don't think we can get through. I'll just check this little alleyway here, but I suspect that that just goes to the back. And there's not an actual footpath. No, no. It's a dead end. Dead end. Oh well, I'll walk back that way. So rather than just take you all the way back through there, I'll stop it for now and then turn it back in when we got a uh, point of interest. Okay.